everybody, this is Alchemist 2 and I'm back again with another series review. I just recently watched MLP FIM. The episode was called Forever Philly. And this was a rarity centric, actually more of a Sweetie Belle centric episode. And in this episode, the Kitty Mark Crusaders, <laughs> they have the CMC promise. I absolutely adore that later on, but they were helping a friend of theirs named Chip figure out what he was good at and of course subsequently he found his cutie mark. I'm not going to say um, how that happened or what it was because I don't want to ruin it but later on they come across a young filly who is having issues with her dog and it's an Airedale Terrier and I thought <laughs> why am I not surprised? <sighs> yeah they can be willful <laughs> That is true. Terriers are notorious for that, but actually, my baby, he is just unbelievable. He, he can be a little bit hard to get along with at times, but he minds very well. He just, he loves to please, and he just wants to make sure that his mistress is happy. And it was a whole object lesson about Sweetie Belle growing up and Rarity was just in this mode of denial that her sister would want to change anything or do anything differently due to that. And she's no longer a baby and Rarity had to come to that horrible realization. <laughs> And she was doing things that she thought she still liked to do. But through the example of her friend's dog, she did it in such a, a magnificent way. She said, your dog... Well, you don't... What would she say? You don't play with the toys that you used to play with when you were little, right? And, of course... The other filly says, well, no, of course I don't. Well, your your dog is the same. Just treat him like the dog that he is, and all, all will be well. And, of course, she throws a stick, and everything's fine. And it's, it's just really beautiful, I thought. And I am, I'm loving to see... Rarity Bloom and Sweetie Belle's growing into a more independent character even though she works well with her friends as also. Uh, I really don't know what else to say about the episode although it's just so lighthearted and magnificent and seeing an Airedale Terrier just made it all the better. This has got to be my favorite so far and do the terrier. I'll just, I'll just say it right now. You know how I feel about terriers. Uh, I'm trying to find my favorite episode of um, Pound Puppies. And it was one, I think it was the one with Rebound in it. When Rebound was in the dog show and there was an Airedale in the show as well. And he's just all prim and proper and well groomed and ever so efficient in what he does and he has an English accent I thought no uh, probably it would be better if he had a Welsh accent to be to be uh, fair <laughs> well they they are from the the county of Ayr so or Ayr <laughs> As, uh, um, isn't that more Scottish it's got a brook but <laughs> I don't know, maybe uh, a, a Dale would have more of kind of a burr when he spoke, but I think an English accent works as well for a terrier just because of the type of dog it is. And uh, he's just a very austere doggy. And this one was as well. And uh, of course, just... <laughs> left to his own devices and not really caring of anything until his mistress was taught the right way to to handle him. They thought, mm. Yeah, they, they grow up really fast, for one thing. And um, he, speaking of Griffin, he is just this unbelievable animal. He is very intelligent and... 
I can't go on about him too terribly much because I've done that before and you'll probably get annoyed. But this was a good episode. I thought I thought it was very um, tremendous and it had a good lesson and it furthered the plot, I felt, even though maybe it was more filler than anything. Uh, I'd like to see more of a uh, <laughs> really good versus evil kind of plots. Although I do enjoy these as well. I like the teaching moments and I think that MLP FIM is one of the best shows out there that does this to a T. Um, and I really can't complain too much about fillers. It's, um, it's for a purpose, I think. It's, it's to lead to something even better and greater later on in the series. I'm not sure what they're gearing up toward, but I have a feeling that it's going to be really good because the episodes so far have been fairly low-key, but very, very good. Um, that's basically all I have to say about MLP FIM, and I will see you around. So, live long and prosper. Ciao, Tootsie.